Hello everybody, John Schwell back here again with another video, and today is Wednesday night, and as always, I'm back with another Arrow review. Now, if you've not seen tonight's episode, please go check it out, because this review may contain spoilers, and I'm going to be re reviewing Arrow Season 3, Episode 17, titled Suicidal Tendencies. Now, uh, as you guessed it, it is a very Suicide Squad heavy episode, and the number one thing I can say about this episode, it's it's a major improvement of last week's episode. Uh, for me personally, I thought last week was the offer was kind of like a very. It just wasn't it. It just wasn't justice to the series. It was very eh for me personally, and I, I've kind of grown to to realize how Arrow season three has been going. Like they're not really good with the premieres. They're good with setups to following episodes that's what they're kind of really good at because the premieres aren't really that good you know i mean i'm just saying the last week was just terrible uh i mean it was okay just wasn't on, on par you know overall but nevertheless um t today's episode was a very suicide squad heavy episode and of course uh it's the fucking suicide squad fucking awesome we get to see deadshot cupid uh, Diggle and Lila and whatever team up to go take on some fucking bullshit that I really don't care about or really fully understood what the heck it even meant. Of course, Amanda Waller has her, you know, way of, like, sending people to do crazy, stupid shit that makes no fucking sense. So at the end of the day, who gives a shit what the heck they're doing? The point is, it's a Suicide Squad mission, and that's fucking awesome. And, um, this episode was very heavy, not only on Suicide Squad, but on Deadshot, which was very strange. And... I, I want to know other people's thoughts on this in the comment section below, but I personally believe that the sole purpose as to why they did this episode the way they did it was to hype up the character of Deadshot and, of course, uh, to, to have a good setup for Will Smith as Deadshot. Because, for those of you who don't know, I mean, like, we got the TV Suicide Squad, but in 2016, we're going to get the big-budget fucking David Ayer in your face fucking suicide squad with with an actual Harley Quinn and Jared Leto's the Joker which I fucking can't wait to see and Will Smith is going to be Deadshot which is cool you know I mean I'm pretty sure he'll be decent with it and uh at the end of the day this episode was very Deadshot heavy I mean it was very dedicated to Deadshot he's kind of like the leader like the unspoken leader with um with the suicide mission, he's like majority of all the flashbacks were all about like telling the origins of De of Deadshot, like how he like Floyd, how he comes home from war, he sees his wife, he sees his young child for the first time, all that shit, like how all that kind of turns and and turmoil and all the years of being in battle, like kind of takes its toll on him, blah blah blah, all that ho other horse shit. Uh, he gets put in jail, of course. And there were some references to Hive, which was kind of interesting. I don't know why they continued to reference Hive, because, for one, we haven't really dealt with the logistics of Hive. And on top of that, Titans is supposedly supposed to come out later this year. So, I don't know why they keep Arrow keeps going deep into the DC Universe for other people's shit, when, you know, you have other stuff on the way. You know, you have, like, Supergirl and Titans... Not to mention the DC Smack Universe. There's a whole bunch of shit on the way. So I don't know why they continue to grab pizza, uh, bits and pieces from the DCU in general. But nevertheless, I guess it was cool to see a Hive reference. I think the last time we saw a Hive reference was like, what, season 2? last uh, Season 1, season 2, I forgot which episode. But there was a Hive reference uh, a ways back. And now we got another one, which was pretty cool. And uh, at the end of the day, it was a very Deadshot-heavy episode. I just felt that... At the end of the day, if I felt like it was the Arrow writers or or the CW or whoever whoever who's in control of DC and whatnot, it was like you know what we need to fucking hype up this character because you know Suicide Squ Squad is coming around the corner and maybe a lot, not a lot of people really understand or know the gist of those characters. I mean, everybody knows who Joker is, everybody knows who Harley Quinn is, everybody knows you know all that kind of cool stuff, but Deadshot's not really the character that people really know all about. So I guess that's what they're going with this episode, which was really fucking good. And um at the spoilers, at the end of the episode, of course the suicide mission ends with death. This is I think the second time we've seen a suicide squad uh mission that ends up with the death of a character and Deadshot actually ends up dying. And I want to know if that was also another way for Arrow and CW to set up the Deadshot Will Smith version because, you know, there's that. 
You know, because it's like, okay, well, we have Will Smith who's going to be Deadshot. Well, we need to kill off our Deadshot because of that Deadshot. We don't want people to be all confused and, or whatnot. I mean, we already have people who are fucking confused in and of itself because we have two Flashes and two universes and my head's about to explode from just scanners. Nevertheless, uh, I think it was very good the way they did it. They didn't really overboard it with too much Suicide Squad nonsense, but... um. It was just really good to see that. It was just epic and awesome. And I loved how they introduced Deadshot at the beginning of the episode. How he's like, uh, at the beginning of the the episode itself, you know, you, you have Diggle and Lila's wedding, remarriage, if you will. Um, which was interesting because there wasn't really that much setup. I mean, uh, you could tell me in the comment section below, but was there ever a setup to a wedding throughout the series of this season? I mean, I knew they were kind of getting married, but there wasn't really any... Simpl like, the simplicity of it was like... Hey, Oliver, you want to be my best man? Okay, sure. Like, we're thinking about getting married again. Okay, sure. But that was it. We didn't really, you know... I guess in the Arrow comic book universe, con uh, weddings take very... You know, they're fucking easy to do very quickly. But this time, it was, I'm just saying, it was just... It's like, we were just talking about it. Like, the logistics of the simplicity of a wedding, like, an episode ago. And now we're having, like, the legitimate wedding, or whatever the fuck. That was fast, but never. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was still kind of an interesting opening to an Arrow episode. We don't really get that kind of like soft little party slash, you know, all these characters together, which was also cool. Ray Palmer is also a huge part of the of the wedding too, which is funny. I liked uh, Diggle's ref uh, comment towards Ray, where it's like because Ray and Felicity are a thing, so like if she f if the, he fucks anything up with her, you know, Diggle's gonna kill his ass, which was pretty hysterical. It was very funny. I wonder how he can do that if he has the Adam suit. How is he going to do that? Come on. But, no, but at the end of the day, it was still funny to have that comment. And, of course, we're dealing with the with the recap of what happened last week, which was essentially Oliver denies Ra uh, Ra's al Ghul's uh, offer. So, of course, at the end of the day, Ra's al Ghul, in retaliation for not taking up the offer, has sent his League of Assassins to portray as the Arrow and destroy the name, the title of what the arrow stands for by killing people again. So that's kind of like what Raish is kind of going with, which is a really weird way of, like, retaliation. I mean, it's the League of Assassins. Why couldn't you do something a little bit more epic instead of just being like, oh, we're going to frame his ass. You know what? You're the League of Assassins. You're the fucking demon's head. You don't get, you don't get that title for just... You know, framing people because, you know, you're know you all butthurt because Oliver's like, eh, I don't know. Come on. But at the end of the day, that's what we're getting with in Season 3 of this, you know, fucking Arrow show. But at the end of the day, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. The fight sequences were pretty badass. Arrow versus the evil arrows as, or the imposter, the fake arrows as Felicity likes to call them. Kicking some ass, fucking awesome. Ray Palmer in the Atom suit, fucking amazing. I love that suit. I think it's... Like, next to the Flash suit, it's definitely my favorite costume on the CW right now. It's just so badass. That helmet, I want that helmet. I don't know why, I just really like that fight, that, the, the fucking Pfizer and the how it fucking changes in color and, like, you can't really see his identity, kinda. It's so fucking badass. I, like, even though it's a little overboard Iron Man-esque, it's so fucking cool. And, of course, on top of the Suicide Squad stuff... You know, Ray Palmer discovers the fact that, okay, Oliver is the Arrow, which is, you know, a big thing in of itself, using his technology and his, you know, intelligence, to figure out that, of course, Oliver is the Arrow, and now they have to fucking battle each other, because, you know, it's always awesome to see superheroes, you know, fucking fighting each other. There's always, there's nothing wrong with that. Hell, they're making a fucking movie based off it. It's called Batman vs. Superman, for fuck's sake, so, which I really want to fucking see. So, of course, why not see some more superheroes fight each other before that movie, so... Suicide Squad, a.k.a. Arrow vs. Adam, or as I like to call it, Batman vs. Iron Man, because that's what it basically is. At the end of the day, that was fucking killer. It was awesome. The fight was a little too short. Just a tad. It could have went a little longer, but it was so cool. It was it was uh, Oliver, uh, Oliver team up with Roy, of course, to take on the Atom, and just kicking ass. I mean, oh god, that was a cool fucking fight. A little short, but pretty cool. I loved um, how the suit, like, kind of moves around and, like, how it shoots out, like, those kind of energy blasts slash electro kind of taser type shits, you know, using the force, if you will. It was it was pretty cool. Pretty badass. The Atom suit is definitely killer. Um, 
It definitely needs updates because, Jesus, Oliver took him down a little too easily, which, you know, is, you know, depending on your personal preference is all right with you. But for me, I felt he took him down a little too easy. And the fight didn't last as long as I was expecting. The teaser was the teaser for this episode was like, oh shit, shit's gonna go down. The Adam knows, you know, Ray knows that Oliver's the arrow, and fucking they're gonna battle. That's the shit right there. But it was like five seconds and was kind of done. And the way Oliver kind of beats him is logical. I understand. It's like okay, he figures out just by watching Ray like how the suit kind of works. Then he takes it out. Okay, sure. I'm just saying, um, the suit definitely needs updates. And, uh, God, it's gonna be so fucking crazy if at one point in this fucking series, or whenever they do the spinoff, because we all know CW wants to do a spinoff, if Adam gets the power to shrink in size, if he gets the power to shrink in size and they ever get a rematch, that would be fucking cool to see how that fucking goes down. I mean, like, we saw Flash versus Arrow, which was cool. We saw Adam versus Flat, uh, Arrow now. Adam versus Arrow. Okay, sure. Now I want to see the rematch where, like, Adam has the, the ability to shrink size. Fuck, that's going to be awesome. That's what I'm really hoping for. That's what I really want to fucking see. Uh, but on top of all that greatness, of course, um, the the episode uh, continues to go on. Uh, Adam, of course, Ray Palmer discovers the fact that, you know what, Oliver is not actually the, the killer. He's being framed by League of Assassins, so he's, like, obviously having a press... A uh, little fucking thing where it's like, okay, you know what, uh, Oliver's innocent, you know, the arrow's innocent, and no nobody really wants to believe his ass, you know, especially Detective Lance, who's like all fucking, you know, crazy eye towards the arrow, you know, he's fucking gunning for his ass, so he's like, fuck you, rich boy, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, so that was kind of what Detective Lance was going on, and then, bam, of course, this is the end of the episode, fucking Maceo, but fucking starts shooting arrows as the arrow, fucking killing the mayor, or whoever the fuck that chick was, and starts attacking other motherfuckers, and there's a specific shot where he has Felicity, spoilers, Felicity in his airs, and at the, and then, of course, fucking arrow, of course, had to end fucking, on a fucking cliffhanger, boom, ends, and then you hear another arrow shoot off, shit, Spoilers, did Felicity just get killed? Did she just get her ass killed? Or did somebody, like, kind of, like, block her out of the way? Because you kind of get the gist of, like, she's in the she's in the mirror, like a fucking idiot. What the hell are you thinking? You're, you know, you're in the fucking way here. Don't do that. What are you, you stupid? You, you've been in this business long enough not to be in fucking crosshairs. And then, bam, fucking sh shoots an arrow. So I want to know, and I am really fucking can't wait to see what happens. But did Felicity just get her ass killed, or did she just, like, get wounded, and then that's it? You know, she's gonna have to take a little nap, if you will. The, a comic book nap, if you will. I don't know. It's League of Assassins. They don't call you... You don't, you don't get called League of Assassins for nothing. Although, I, I really didn't like Naseo in this episode. Um, granted, your own personal preference, once again, you can comment below. But for me personally, I just didn't like his character in this episode. There's a specific sequence... Where Arrow, where Oliver and him are talking, where he discovers, is like, okay, this is the leak, who are obviously framing your ass, and this is because of retaliation for not taking up the offer that Raish put for Oliver. And there's a specific scene where, a specific line, where like, uh, where Maceo s starts saying like, you know, you this, you know, you take you take one you take one head you take one down one league member down two will follow in its place. That really annoyed me, because I don't think League of Assassin characters really say that. And if they do, doesn't that feel like they're stealing from Hydra? Like, Jesus, the Arrow Riders are stealing from everywhere. They start seeing from Iron Man, they fucking stole from Batman, they're taken from the DCU, they're fucking, now they're taken from Hydra? How many fucking people are these, these fucking Arrow Riders taking from? I'm, I'm joking, of course, I'm saying this all joking, but of course, isn't that just, isn't that, doesn't that just sound like a Hydra thing to say? You know, I just feel like he was about to, like, switch from his normal accent to go all German and be like, take one, you know, fucking taking one head of the Hydra and fucking two will take its place? Holy shit, are you fucking Hydra? When did League of Assassins become Hydra? Is fucking Ra's al Ghul secretly the Red Skull? I mean, because we never knew what the fuck happened to him in that movie. I'm just saying. I'm joking, of course. I already know. It's, it's a joke. But, uh, I just really, I didn't like that line. And, like, uh, it just felt too Hydra for me, personally. I'm just saying, League of Assassins is its own thing. It's not Hydra. 
it's not the Brotherhood. It's fucking League of Assassins. It's its own thing. You don't really need to steal from, like, the Marvel Universe, you know, for your shit. You have the DC Universe. You know, you don't fucking have to take from other people. But whatever. It's, it's an Arrow thing, as it's been called uh, as of now. But at the end of the day, it's not really that big of a deal. It's It was just... A, it's kind of a nitpicky thing that I just really... That just bothered me, personally. Uh, and, of course, I like the joke about it. Because nitpicking type of things that bother me about Arrow, I find hysterical. Even though most people find aggravating but I, I personally find it hysterical but at the end of the day um of course leave assassins episode slash uh arrow versus adam episode definitely a huge improvement of last week's episode so i'm gonna have to give it an eight out of ten it wasn't amazing but it was decent it's kind of like what the flash gave us this this uh this up uh, this week it was good decent just not amazing you know which is okay but we have a lot to look forward to in um the, the following weeks uh, Arrow and Flash episodes. I mean, for the Flash, we have Mark Campbell, uh, Luke Skywalker, and, um, and the Joker himself fucking returning for the Trickster, which is, I can't wait to see. I just really want to see Mark Hamill. Um, we also got, um, apparently based off the teasers, we got fucking Team Arrow versus Team Lance. Apparently, the fucking Detective Force is battling against Arrow, so now Detective Lance is like, you know what? Fuck this shit. He just killed the mayor or whoever the fuck that chick was, and he start. We need to fucking take this fucker down. We need to take this fucker down, and that's what the teaser was. So, and also the big fucking cliffhanger, which is, did Felicity just get her ass killed, or did I just fucking just go fucking mute and just brain dead for a second and just heard what I wanted to hear? I don't know. Personally, I don't really want Felicity to die, and I'm pretty sure the Arrow writers would never do that. Um, but, I don't know. It, it's very interesting. It's very interesting to see what happens next week. So yeah, this episode was fucking awesome. Uh, in the comment section below, let me know what you personally thought. Uh, what did you think about Deadshot? Did you like his origin? Did you like his episode overall? How did you feel about Deadshot dying? And do you think he really died? I mean, it is Arrow and it is the comic book, so of course, you know, people can die and like come back very easily. But um, at the end of the day, I kind of see what they were doing. They're trying to hype up the character because, of course, Suicide Squad, the movie, is right around the corner. And on top of that, of course, Will Smith is playing Deadshot and... Uh, based off what he says, he wants to be the definitive Deadshot, so I don't know if like Will Smith was like, he went to SCW and was like, hey, you need to kill that fucker because I'm Deadshot now. You need to kill the fucking white guy because I'm fucking Deadshot. I don't know if that happened. I'm speculating, of course, but I wouldn't be surprised if that did. I'm just saying, it, it sounds very absurd, but I kind of get the feeling that's that's that could have happened. But it is okay. It's okay. I, I really want to see Suicide Squad in, the, in the, the the big movie. I'm just saying. Margot Robbie is Harley Quinn and Jared Leto is the Joker as he's been fucking hyping it on the fucking social media. Oh my god. Oh, I can't wait to see that fucker. I can't wait. But nevertheless, Arrow, episode 17 of season 3. Fucking nice. Pretty decent. Adam kicking ass. Fucking awesome. I can't wait to see the rematch when he has actual superpowers. The fight was good. Just... Uh, wasn't big on the ending, and also I would have liked it to be a little longer. Uh, Suicide Squad episode was good. Cupid, I think she did a uh, decent job. Uh, this is her first time in the actual squad, so I think she was decent. I felt she was a little kind of annoying at times, but I guess this is Arrow's version of Harley Quinn, which I guess is what they're trying to go with, because as we all know, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, so I doubt CW can be like... Hey, Harley Quinn, you know, because they tried to do that last last year, and they definitely can't do it this year. So I guess they're like, you know what, Cupid, she'll be the, the reincarnation of Harley Quinn for this series. So there's that. But I think she was decent. Um, other than that, everything else, Felicity, fucking awesome. I loved everything. Every actor did a fucking awesome job. Brandon Routh as Ray Palmer killed it. He was fucking awesome and funny and hysterical. Uh, badass in the Adam suit definitely needs updates, which I'm guessing is what the whole Star Lab sequence that we all have been hearing about uh, comes in place. Where he's like, we need to fucking update this shit. So can't wait for, can't wait to see that. Overall, in the comment section below, let me know what you personally thought on everything. Uh, Deadshot is he dead? Let me know. Adam, what do you think about his fight with Arrow? Uh, what do you think about the future of how this series is going to continue to go on? Uh, based off the teasers and trailers, we all know that Detective Lance is going to be trying to get Oliver killed, he's going to kill his ass, he's going to put him in jail, whatever, um, there's just a lot of shit that's going to go down, which I can't wait to see, 
And Lazarus Pit, I actually forgot to mention that in my last review, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people were pissed off about. But, um, yeah, Lazarus Pit, just for a quick mention, um, honorable mention, if you will. I liked it. I thought it was pretty decent. It was kind of... I, I didn't like the, the fucking Fountain of Youth reference. I felt that was kind of unnecessary to mention. And also, I would have liked the, the liquid water thing to look a little bit more green, if you will. But the Lazarus Pit is awesome, and, it, and it's real. It's... Hell, it's there. So, cool. Fuck it. Yeah, Lazarus Pit. Awesome. Fucking heals him. So, if Ra's al Ghul does die... I'm pretty sure he'll be resurrected, so who gives a shit? So, at the end of the day, no one really dies because there's a Lazarus Pit, so... Awesome. At the end of the day, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you personally thought. This episode was definitely a major improvement of last week's episode. I loved a lot of stuff in it. Some things I kind of were, were annoying, but, you know, it's, it's mostly nitpicky things that I don't really take too seriously. At the end of the day, let me know what you personally thought. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and I hope... Everyone is enjoyed, and check out my uh, Light of Hope pilot review, my Eye Zombie pilot review, my uh, my episode review of um, of the Flash, uh, episode sixteen, Rogue Time, and uh, also check out my video, which I give you a brief synopsis uh, and my personal opinion on the first look at Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. So definitely check out this episode. Subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been. Shock 12.